let us have no fear in approaching the throne of grace to receive mercy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good afternoon. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we come to this wonderful place of our Blessed Mother, asking her powerful intercession, Mary, our Blessed Mother, be with us, guide us, and grant all our intercessions that we are praying for. Let us prepare for this Holy Eucharist, asking for our sins, pardon, and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to give my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have prayed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my sisters, to pray for me to Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father, you have given us the mother of your son to be our mother also. Grant us that by obeying the appeals of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may always work through prayer and penance for the kingdom of Christ and attain eternal happiness. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. John saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven, as beautiful as a bride, all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne. You see the city. Here God lives among men. He will make his home among them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then one sitting on the throne spoke. Now I am making the whole of creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response soil sound. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are the highest honor of our race. The trust you have shown shall not pass from memories of men, but shall ever remind them of the power of God. You are the highest honor of our race. God grant you to be always held in honor and rewarded with blessings, since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. You are the highest honor of our race.
Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believed that the promise made you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Clopas, and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to, her, to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his home. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ, as we make this wonderful pilgrimage to Our Lady of Fatima, this is a great dream for all of us that one day in our lifetime we should visit this beautiful place and we are here. And we thank our Blessed Mother Mary to leading us to this place where she appeared to the three kids, asking us to pray and do penance and pray the rosary. And we all know that there are many people who will be asking us a question why we need to pray to our Blessed Mother. And the good question to be answered would be, I am not praying to a Blessed Mother, but I am asking her intercession to pray for me, to pray for the conversion of the heart of sinners. As we heard in today's Gospel, Jesus giving his own mother to all of us. And so he says that from now on, here is your mother. To the disciple, he gives her. So also, we are the disciples of Jesus. And now we receive our blessed mother as our own mother. In our family life, we know if we need something, we go to our mother and we ask her, I need this, I need that, and so on. So also in our spiritual life, we have our blessed mother Mary whom we can go and approach her and ask her intercession. So as our Blessed Mother Mary gives us a great message, pray the rosary. As we are in this beautiful place, let us ask our Blessed Mother to be with us and to guide us. And also let us take a good resolution as we leave this place that we will recite rosary every day in our life. Let us ask the Lord to give us the grace in this Holy Eucharist through the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary. Amen. Please rise. Here at this sacred spot, where the Most Holy Virgin Mary appeared, let us present our prayers to God our Father, who gave us the mother of his son to be our mother. For all the faithful, that by obeying the appeals of Mary in a spirit of true penance and prayer, they may work wholeheartedly for the renewal of the world and for the kingdom of Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who exercise sacred ministry in the church, that they be attentive to the word of God, love it, and proclaim it with fidelity and enthusiasm as Mary did, we pray to the Lord. For those who govern nations, that they may work for justice and peace in the world and harmoniously collaborate in the just distribution 
of earthly goods among all the inhabitants of the world, we pray to the Lord. For all those who suffer, that in union with Mary, consoler of the afflicted, in the loving care of others, and in the contemplation of the cross of Christ, they may find courage to face life, we pray to the Lord. For all of us here present, and for our families, for our nation, for our cities, for our parishes, for our own families, that by the intercession of our Blessed Mother Mary, those who seek Christ may find him, sinners may be converted, young people may open their hearts with enthusiasm to the gospel, we pray to the Lord. Let us put forth our prayers and petitions in silence to our Blessed Mother Mary. We pray to the Lord. God of infinite goodness, attend you to the supplication of your people and with the prayers of Mary, mother of your son and mother of the church, to help us listen to our pleas and increase our faith. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, this bread we offer. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the wine work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that sacrifice of mine and yours may be acceptable to God, Almighty Father. Lord, we offer you these gifts of reparation and of praise, so that in celebrating this feast of the Blessed Virgin Mary, you may absolve us from our sins and guide our wavering hearts. We ask this in the name of Jesus, our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to Lord, our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do will always and everywhere to give you thanks as we celebrate our Blessed Virgin Mary and praise you for your gifts. She, receiving your word in her immaculate heart, merited to conceive him in her virginal womb. And in giving birth to the creator of the world, she prepared the birth of the church. She, in receiving at the foot of the cross the testament of divine charity, received all men as her children, born to eternal life through the death of Christ. She, when the apostles were awaiting the coming of the Holy Spirit, the promised one, united her supplications to the prayers of the disciples and thus became the model of the suppliant church. 
she then finally elevated to the glory of heaven surrounds with her maternal love the pilgrim church and lovingly directs their steps to the heavenly dwelling place until the glorious coming of the lord and so with all the angels and saints we pro we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory O sana in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord o sana in the highest Lord you are holy indeed the fountain of all holiness let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of your son our lord jesus christ before he was given up to death a death he freely accepted he took bread and gave you thanks he broke the bread gave it to his disciples and said take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you When supper was ended he took the cup and again he gave you thanks and praise gave the cup to his disciples and said take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins the mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup we proclaim your death lord until you come again in memory of his death and resurrection we offer you father this life giving bread this saving cup we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you may all of us who share in the body and blood of christ be brought together in unity by the holy spirit lord remember your church throughout the world make us grow in love together with francis our pope jose our bishop and all the clergy remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence have mercy on us all make us worthy to share eternal life with mary the virgin mother of god with blessed joseph her spouse with the apostles and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages may we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at our savior's command formed by divine teaching we dare to say lord's prayer Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. 
and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we await in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a meaningful sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, having received with joy these heavenly sacraments, grant us, we pray you, that they may lead us to eternal life, where we may rejoice forever with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son and Mother of the Church. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Let's go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Have a good day. God bless you all.